Yes, Greg, I'm going to start off with you. You sound pretty down on the markets. You think we're going to hit new lows for the year. Um, so what what is working right now in your view? Is, is the bond market giving you a, a choice? Well, obviously it is, and, and I think that that is one of the headwinds that we're going to face throughout the rest of the year in the equities market. Uh, not only do we have the fundamental and macro view deteriorating, or at least people coming to that uh, that more bearish view on those things, but because the bond market and even the treasury market is giving a 4% plus risk-free return, what we're going to see is entities and even municipalities that have moved up the risk curve in search of performance, moving back down into those traditional categories that they normally reside in. And so that is going to be another demand factor for equities that we're going to see a pretty stiff headwind throughout the year. Uh, and, and I think lead us to be, at least being one of the contributing factors that lead us through those June lows into the next couple of months. RJ, what are you seeing in terms of, of inflows and demand by customers seeking an alternative to stocks at this point? Uh, unfortunately, as a bond manager, it's been the opposite. Uh, the, the municipal bond market, for instance, which is my primary focus, mm -hmm. Uh, has seen record redemptions going back to as long as any third-party data service has been tracking mutual fund flows. Um, the, the sad fact of the matter is that the losses are big, double digits in every major bond asset class, muni, treasury, corporate, you name it. Uh, and investors often sell losses. Um, I think right now we are actually getting to the point where you shouldn't be selling your bonds. Uh, the four plus percent yield that was just mentioned is the highest since 2007 on the Treasury index. Meanwhile, we believe at this point that the worst of the rate increase is over. It's probably the eighth or ninth inning of what has been an abysmal bond market return. And now is the time to start legging in to intermediate or maybe even longer duration assets, somewhat cautiously because the Fed's still tightening. But the, the end point of the Fed tightening is more in sight now than it was, say, even six, nine months ago. So you're saying a longer duration, obviously, a length of time. And so um, what, what sort of ladder would you construct or barbell approach would you construct in a portfolio if an investor were interested in doing that, RJ? Well, at Federated Hermes, we tend to, to focus on uh, actively managed fixed income. So we don't get into sort of passive ladders, per se. Mm -hmm. That's not our, our, our base case. We do offer those for some clients. Our largest and most successful strategies are actively managed within each space, corporate, muni, or multi-sector. And there, uh, we've been uh, upgrading our quality because we think a recession is becoming more likely than it was, number one. Number two, uh, we have been uh, short duration throughout this entire rate increase, which has been like a rocket ship higher. But again, we're getting close to the uh, top of the parabola of that rocket's pattern. Uh, and so we're actively managing fixed income, not taking a passive approach. And we believe that uh, a little short duration and up in quality uh, is probably the safe place to be as we head into rockier economic roads. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.